All right, ladies and gentlemen, check engine lights on. You know what that means. Time for another update video here uh, at the Hot Rods. Elliot Slack coming at you. No Randy today, so I'm uh, recording with the hand. Um, he'll be back next week. I hope everybody had a good Memorial Day weekend. You know, um, we're getting ready to get back at her tomorrow. Um, but just wanted to touch base with you guys. Said that I was going to do another fucking update. We we're going to start doing all this good shit more often like we used to. Get back on the train, you know. Um, so this week we worked a little bit on the 67. Worked on the 49. And the Riviera. We This little amount of things we did. Um, we just prepped it for some welding and shit that's going to go on this week coming up. So that'll be in, that'll be next week. So the Riviera, we're going to be getting some uh, metal work done on it, uh, welding in some things. Um, well, here, I'll just, let me spin it around. So we're going to, we're going to attempt to get up in this, all this good stuff, but have a couple of areas down here that needs addressed. And like I said, was we were prepping and shit like that. So I'm going to finish off this area here, obviously. It's the one little last piece that I need to do as far as the back window and shit goes. But um, as far as everything else goes, we'll just we'll jump over here to the 49 Diamond T. Oh, um, here's the latest fucking tool here at the shop. I haven't given it a name yet. Um, it's a stomp shear. If you're not familiar with what a stomp shear is, um, it's uh, it's a lifesaver. It's already paid for itself 85 fucking times already. Um, but this is some pretty slick shit. I'm going to show you what happens. You just shove this bitch in here and uh, you give her hell. Stomp on this. Gives you a nice little fucking flat as hell shot, right? Just one real quick. You know, so we're going to make quick use of things. We wanted a 54, but the budget just wasn't calling for it. So 37 is what we got. But um, here is the 49. Went over this a little bit last week. Um, the one thing I didn't show you last week was up underneath, which we're going to do that right now. How about that? Um, let me grab a roll around here. Now, we said about we had sealed everything underneath because this, when it came in, it was not painted underneath. So everything under here was bare. As you can see, we sealed everything up. But... This will give you a good idea of all of the routing and everything that has been happening. Um, that's right there is a shutoff, a battery shutoff right there. And then you can see how all the wires are going into the trunk area, which I'll show you here as soon as I get up off of this son of a gun. But you can see all the good, all the good stuff. Um, you know, a lot of people don't care about wiring and stuff. They don't think it's even... Uh, it's a big deal, just put it together type of deal. But um, you burn your fucking truck down, and uh, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, um, this is one area that a lot of people won't see. As you can see, you know, this is a um, a prefabricated um, wiring harness. So the wiring harnesses that we usually use um, is an American Auto Wire setup. It's an American auto wire setup. Oh, that lighting's bad. And the reason we use that is because we can literally take one wire and run it and grab another wire and run the next wire and all that stuff. And what happens is, you know, it doesn't turn into this fiasco. And then, you know, we can, we can put wires where we want them, run them one at a time, all that stuff. But this is just to give you a good idea. Of what we're doing here as you can see this here in case you're curious this is a heat wrap that protects everything um your headers are obviously going to come down through here right back through here um so that's just a little bit of uh the extra added shit that we do here and you know a lot of people wouldn't even bother with stuff like this um connectors and shit like that and stuff that actually attaches to the the frame rail and everything and and just making sure everything's nice and tidy. Like here's your fuel line right here. Um, 
if we weren't doing our due diligence and rubberizing all this stuff to make sure it's on there good, um, you know, it'll rattle and all that shit. Well, actually, no, that isn't a fucking fuel line. That's a damn battery cable. Fuel line's on. Fuel line's right here. What the hell am I talking about? Fucking fuel line's right here. Uh, return line and input line, whatever you want to call it. But uh, but this stuff here is pretty good, flexible shit. The wrapping that's on it and everything is, is just like I was saying with this when I was mistaken about this being rubberized and shit. Um, this is so that you don't end up having a ground that happens to the, uh, that goes through and hits the frame. You know what I mean? Shit like that. So, you know, these, these are things, <laughs> obviously you don't want this fuel line to get hot. You know, that's just another part of the deal. Um, and then these wires here. Are all going to be running. Like I said, you know, a lot of people are going to look at this and be like, it's fucking boring, you know, and move on. But the real people that know what the hell's going on should understand what's happening here and how much time and effort it takes to make something this clean. And we only want to wire this thing one time. And even though this is a, uh, a universal kit, um, you know, we're going to make sure it's going to be working properly and we're making notes and everything like that. So, Above and beyond is where we're going. Um, you know, it takes, a, it takes a little bit of time, but doing shit right takes time. You know, uh, what do they say? Pay once, cry once, um, I believe is what some people say. So um, whenever it comes time to doing stuff safely and, and, and doing stuff right, you know, that's, that's part of the deal, man. It, it has to be done right, and we pride ourselves on you know, when things go out once, we don't ever want to see them again. As in, like, we don't want to have to work on them again, you know. And if it is, it's minor stuff. Um, but I just wanted to get under here today and show you, especially, like I said, all this area up in here, all this area was was bare metal. So we came in and we did a, a our own sealer system and everything, which should uh, take care of any rust or, or anything as far as the coating goes. And, chips and scratches and shit like that from from whenever it finally gets on the road and starts running uh, so that's underneath the 49 um hopefully it didn't bore you to death too much on that one but uh you know i don't know if i ever really got into detail i go into a bunch of detail here as far as the wiring and shit goes you know um you know it's just a bunch of we're trying to make everything as clean as possible you know this is more of a original hot rod style um the owner kind of calls it a rot 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 rat rod rot rod um it's a it's a little bit more advanced than a normal rat rod obviously um it's not your rust and a bunch of baloney like that but we're trying to keep everything tidy and nice in the whole nine yards so like i said i i'm pretty we, we did do a video of that a little bit but we never got up underneath for you um like I said, all that wiring that was coming in the back is coming up through here. Um, you can see we got all the relays that are coming in here and your maxi fuses and all that stuff. Um, you know, the airline's getting prepped and ready to be ran. It's going to be all nice and tidy in here. Um, you know, it's just everything after all this stuff has gone through, it's going to get wrapped and protected and everything as well. So um, in case you were curious if it was just going to be bare, no, it's not. But this week we put the backup camera in, which is pretty nice, which is right here. Um, still going to have to finalize that stuff. The owner wanted a backup camera in here, and it's going to be on at all times. I'll show you exactly what's going on with that. But we tidied it in, um, you know, the location and everything is right where the was right where the client wants it. So that's where he's going to get it. And uh, let's move on to the inside here. Um, last week, if you remember, this was a big old rat's nest. Not so much anymore. Like I said, everything's getting tidied up in here and starting to turn out really nice. Now, what I was saying was with that other wiring setup that we had literally all these wires you put in one at a time so you can literally build the system to you instead of like 
with this being all prepped and ready, everything's labeled and all that shit. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can, it'll focus. These wires are already, you know, this says ignition to the coil ignition, you know, that's how all these wires are. So these pre, pre, pre jobs, I've done a million of them. They're all fine and dandy, but um, when you can just be like, okay, this wire is going to go here. This wire is going to go there. This comes in a bunch, and then you got to figure out where you're going. And if you got extra shit like we have, um, you got to kind of make stuff work and then tie into areas that aren't necessarily labeled for, you know, wipers or automatic door poppers or radio, you know what I mean? Just shit like that. But, um, you can see here, here's the gauge cluster in the truck. You know, it's going to turn out, it's going to look pretty good, man. Um, so that's where we're at with the 49 Diamond T, just finishing up some stuff. Like I said, um, you know, oh, here we go. We'll show you a little. Here comes the wiring up in here, you know, for the fans and shit. Um, and then we got an electric electric water pump i'm not sure if anybody if we ever said anything about that but we got an electric water pump uh, we got the crank trigger in here in case you were curious what that might be um, this is basically like a modern engine now as far as it actually having a crank position sensor in the whole nine yards so um this is going to be pretty advanced for what it is and it's going to be pretty fucking sweet for what it is i'm well, gonna give you a shot on the passenger side and see everything that's going on here so um not sure we're gonna try to find this fucking camera so i can show you but it might be in a box i might have to wait till next week to show you but anyways the rear view camera actually is going to be the rear view mirror so when we get the rear view mirror up in here it's actually going to be lit up as a video the whole time it's gonna be fucking it's gonna be pretty cool like i said this is gonna be pretty advanced for what it is um nope that's not it all right we'll just wait till next week so if i don't show you next week give me shit about it and i'll make sure to let you see it so uh but we're gonna move on here we're gonna go over here to the 67 um did quite a bit of work on the 67 Yep, just wanted to make sure that damn camera wasn't sitting around. Um, so let me turn this around for the 67. Um, last week, as you can see, last week we were going to get into this piece here, and we we're going to start on the floor and everything. Um, it's funny because that piece there doesn't look like it's much, but all the angles that's going on with it and having to weld all the corners in and make, make these angles perfect and match up and everything is... Um, uh was uh, proved to be a challenge um so we wanted to make we had to get an area inside here you know i wanted to finalize some stuff so started bringing in the floor right here um these pieces here we made this piece and the other piece and then obviously we made this is the inside here coming up over the trans now the floor is going to end up coming in here obviously this line right here is going to be a bend and then it's going to sit right in here. And we're going to start bringing it this way and technical difficulties. So obviously we're going to have a, you know, the floor is going to come in right here, obviously going to come in here, but this is going to be a bend and we're going to spot weld everything right there. Um, we're going to end up tying the floor into all this shit, you know, the this will focus and all that jazz, but um, we're going to end up, we're going to end up building a trans tunnel over top of everything, and it'll be removable just like they're supposed to be. But all this area here is going to have the floor in it shit. And as you can see, we got that side all squared away as well. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. Now, the reason this is done, um, I posted some pictures on Facebook and shit and shared it to a couple of group pages. And, you know, there's always that one fucking guy that's like, you know, I'm a fucking idiot, but I'm going to fucking say something. So... He said, you know, I appreciate why, you know, how long it takes to do something like this, but why not just cover up the engine when you're done? Or maybe, you know what, he probably said motor. That's probably what the fuck he said. Why don't you just cover up the motor while you're at it? You know, and it's like, if you have no fucking idea, 
you got no fucking idea what why this has to be done this way, then you you know just shut the fuck up. You know the keyboard warriors. You know trying to change, trying to change the world one key at a time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know the reason this is built this way, if you haven't been following along, is the truck goes on its nuts. So in order to make the fucking wheels fit inside the engine bay with having a fender over top, which this guy's going to end up driving the shit out of, you know, I've seen these a million times where they don't do anything in here, and then they're like, well, there's fucking rock chips all under my hood and all through here. Well, no shit. You didn't build fucking inner fenders, man. So that's like literally right underneath here is the fucking tire, you know? And when it comes to anything in here, let me turn this back around. The whole reason that we had to build these the way that they are and have this squared off up here like that is because when you turn the fucking steering wheel, when you turn the steering wheel, these fucking wheels almost hit. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, these people, you know, people are idiots, you know? <laughs> just fucking idiots. And uh, unfortunately, that's what we get to deal with 99% of the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, even sometimes whenever we're, we're like, um, I have to explain myself um, and just get the point across of what has to be done with a lot of these builds. Um, so that's why we do these videos. And that's why we have a fucking podcast. And that's why we reach out to people to interview them and all that shit, you know? Um, you know, it's like it's like somebody said, well, why would you do so much work on that 65 Riviera? Why not just buy one? Okay, let's go buy one for 30 grand and then fucking tear it down to paint it the color that the customer wants. And then uh, we find out that we got just as much fucking rust. You know what I mean? Like, come on. It's like, why do you take so much time on on doing wiring and stuff and make it so pretty and clean, like just throw it in there? Well, I'm not fucking building this shit to burn down. We're building this shit to be impressive. We're building this shit to work. We're building this shit so I don't see it again. Just like I said earlier, I don't want to see it again. I want to see people driving these things and loving them. You know what I mean? And that's like... I've only worked for like one person on this fucking planet that had that mindset, you know. And when you go, when you when you start working with IBF hot rods and shit, that's what like it's we have to live up to that standard. So if you don't understand, that's a little bit why. That's my rant. That's my rave. And um, you know, I'm here by myself right now, so uh, I apologize. So, you know, usually somebody's in the background saying, Shh, you know, settle down. So, but you got me today. You know, next week, um, this 49 is going to be even closer to, to getting the fuck out of here as far as like out the door and test driving the shit out of it. You know what I mean? So we'll have some video. We'll do a bunch of stuff for that. Um, the client's going to be coming down um, to, to get in behind the wheel and take it down the road and shit. Like I said, uh, Riviera, we're going to tidy up some of the some of the metal work and all that shit. And, um, you know, we're just going to keep on trucking. Um, after we're going to bounce back and forth between the Riviera and this, my goal is to get shit in primer as fucking quickly and as efficiently as I can get it there. You know, um, we're going to start tidying up some of this stuff on the Riviera, but this is, this is one that I want to get into primer, um, epoxy sooner than later. And this one here is the same fucking deal. And that 49 Diamond T, I'm looking to just, you know, be done with it and get it out of here so we can get on to the next. Um, so hopefully, oh, for fuck's sake, you know what, fellas, and ladies, and everybody else, I forgot the most important shit. This is what happens when nobody's out here with me, you know. Um, I'm not drinking today. I had enough beer over the weekend. Let's see if I can't open this shit up. Um, but yeah, it's water, you know, I'll wake up tomorrow and fucking do start barking and shit, but here's to everybody. Happy Memorial Day. 
it's kind of like uh it's kind of weird to say you know it's depending on you know having memorial day we're memorializing the people that sacrifice the ultimate sacrifice for our country so that we can fucking build hot rods and so you can get on here and watch us build hot rods and follow along and all that good shit while you're sitting on your couch or on the shitter or wherever you watch us on <laughs> Because we all know that's our office. You know what I mean? We kill time in there. But um, here's to you guys. Here's, you know, like I said the other day, you guys caught us on Facebook. You know, this is this is to all the families and everything, and especially to the ones, you know, the families that had to deal with loss from the ultimate sacrifice, you know. Couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. Um, but I'm so grateful for everything because we get to fucking build hot rods. You know, and we can just, you know, everybody bitches and complains, but we can move about the lower 48 states all day, every day without a fucking complaint. If I want to drive to Michigan, I'll drive to Michigan. If I want to drive to Pennsylvania, I'll drive to Pennsylvania. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, such a horrible fucking world. Anyways, like I said, nobody's here to stop me from fucking ranting, but um, here's to you guys. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Love you. Follow along, like, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to this. Um, the more subscribers we get, the more we can bring you more content and we can keep on pushing forward. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of talking, got a little thirsty. Oh yeah, cookies out. My apologies. As always, this one's for you. Here's looking at you, kids. Talk to you soon.